that's close. Alrighty, you ready? Uh -huh. Hop on in. She told me to go kiss her. Okay, <laughs> alright, yeah, might be a good idea. Okay, she told me don't die. So yeah, don't, I don't die. die. We'll keep you safe. Go chop out a, another Mustang. He's got a custom 10 point cage. Uh, his is a little bit different. It's a custom job and he's invited me to come see it. So eventually we're gonna have to do something like that in this car. And when you go, especially with a 10 point, you guys know uh, we're gonna have bars everywhere and it just gets crazy. Uh, and then especially climbing in and out over the bars that would be over here by the doors. Now his, he sent me a couple of pictures. It's a little bit different. Looks like it's a little bit easier to live with. So it's kind of uh, just gonna give me, an, it's gonna give me an idea of kind of maybe something we might wanna do to this car. Still a daily driver, guys, still a daily driver. Right over here is where we're heading and get us a look-see at this uh, 10 point custom cage to kick off the video. Here we go. What's going on? Hey, man. Oh, we just talked. Yes, sir. Oh, man. How you doing? Good, good, good. So this You're is the cage. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay. 10 point. Pop All the trunks. Right. You can see back here. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a custom job, you said. Yes, sir. By DBR. Okay, DBR. This is, uh, all right. The bars that come up here, goes into the dash. Okay, pretty clean. I like how they, they covered that up so it's not just a, a stupid hole, you know what I mean? They cut around and stuff, but there's really nothing to... Right. They did a really good job. Yeah, I, I, I definitely want to keep the carpet and keep it as factory. I like this because of the way that... Yeah, my wife would not. She said she would not get in it if it came you know, straight down. Like... Right. My uh, dilemma, too, is... is uh... Yeah, you get in, you see how tight they put it to the... Yeah. Okay, so yeah, not a whole lot of visibility here lost, which is good. So then you have the bar coming back through the dash, correct? That's the way usually they go with the 10 point. So they just really surround you. But I, I, yeah, I like this because, I mean, that's exactly the way that I would want it. Well, that's that's true too. I like that because usually those, those back bars will actually go through that area. Yeah. And this wraps around so you don't lose your factory interior. Yeah, let me check out the trunk. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, you don't have to fight over... That is great. Okay, good. So you don't really lose any trunk space either. Appreciate you showing me all this. So, yep, yeah, welded in. And this is an 850 cert cage. Well, it's not certified. It's not certified. certified. Okay, got it, yeah, got they it. they said they could easily get it certified. Okay, but this but is exactly what you would... Yeah, no point, right, yeah. Yeah, we just want to be safe about it. Because, I mean, I could put a six point in that, but it would be... I mean, I'm already faster than qualifications for that. my favorite thing right there is just the uh the ease of access all right guys we're at the corvette museum look at all these dude check that out there's the orange one. Oh, i've not seen that in person yet that is so sick oh man sick yeah, me i've been quarantining you know what i mean right let me uh let me back up look at those wheels those look good i just bought them this is the third set of wheels on this car the third set already it's got seven thousand miles on it <laughs> well you know i had a 16 mustang before 2016 i went through like seven different exhaust systems on that car right. before i found what i like this looks good this looks fire man so seven thousand miles Yeah, you're telling me about that. So that's what we're gonna do is try to not really diagnose because you're under a factory warranty. Yeah, it's but under warranty, so if it blows up, it blows up. That's why I'm not <laughs> if it blows, it blows. Hey. 
All right. Did you okay, see so the, what's uh, the new name here? Warfighter. Warfighter. Yeah, we, we changed the name I to remember, Project Warfighter. I remember Carnage was doing your bad. So, uh, it was. We had to change the name. So new look, uh, new turbo system. Everything is different. But did you see the uh, the yes, orange? I, I got to go up there and check yeah. that out. I like the black one too. My wife likes the black one. This is my wife made, by the way. Hey, how are you doing? I was heartbroken when you changed the wing. I know, I like the other wing too. It does, yeah, this is one of my favorites, the MMDV style. But we were gonna go with the carbon stuff and I was like, well, you know, carbon here and then it'll just make sense if we do that. I wanna do like more, but I'm trying I'm to have gonna a- I'm to lie to you, I picked that up after I saw yours. I said, oh, it looks good, I'm gonna get it. It's honestly, yeah, it's one of the best, my favorite wings out there. Not right, so I took it off. It looks good, I like it. So I put that back on so I have something that's correct. Yeah, these wheels look absolutely gorgeous. That looks really good. Yeah, let's go check out the uh, yeah, that Corvette. I, I saw yeah, I saw a couple driving, and I was like, man, look at those lights. Oh my God, that looks so good. If I bought one, a C8, it would definitely be orange, me personally. Yeah, I love it. I would love to buy one of these. Look at that. That's cool. That looks so good. Is this yours? No. no. That, that's mine, the old one. Okay. <laughs> this one's 80,000? This, this one may be mine after he takes the right mirror off because I ain't gonna fit in that thing. Yeah. Oh, is it gonna be too wide? I don't know. Well, interesting that a lot of people don't know this. That mirror over here is actually, further it's further out. Right. A lot of people don't know that. I'll watch Doug DeMuro, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when he smacks it up against that trailer, I'm having it on camera. Right? I hope that doesn't happen. Oh, look at that. Power pulling Oh, it did, yeah. Oh, that's a tight fit. That's a tight fit. He's good. Plenty of room. Yep, I'd buy one of these and I would twin turbo the shit out of it. God, dude. <laughs> Absolutely. Zero to 60 in like what? Two and a half two, seconds? Yeah, it's like 2.9 two yeah, like is what they're, what they're advertising. It's crazy. Can I bum the keys for about five minutes? Right. I promise I'll bring it back. <laughs> I bet it'd be worth five minutes once you got rolling. I know, I know. It's a gorgeous car. I don't know, Z06 would be cool, but then I'd, you know, think about maybe one of those and then uh, just twin turbo. Make right. tons of power, but. I'm a little jealous. Oh, I am too. I am too, <laughs> believe me. After seeing that, I've seen some of the other colors, but I've, that's the first time seeing the orange. orange. Yeah, it looks so good. I like bright colored cars. So it's not the typewriter tick? No. It's something different. Yeah, if I, let me put it there for you. Yeah. And you won't hear a typewriter tick. When you get down there, you're going to hear it. It's a typewriter tick. Let's see. Of course, now I have the camera on, so it's not going to do it. You know what I mean? All right, so he wants me to drive it. Um, there is some typewriter tick going on with his. He's still in the 520. He's saying he has not changed over to the 530 weight oil yet. Yeah, mine still ticks a little bit, which is interesting because that's a that's a whole brand new motor in that. Right. And it still has. I got to move. I got. It's okay to move your seat. Yeah, I got seat memory. So yeah. Do whatever you want. Oh, get fancy. I know, right? It's kind of like a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for a spin. Got to find an incline. Okay, yeah, so incline when you're on the gas, you can hear what you said right. sounded like a uh, it's nice to drive a uh, I haven't been in a Mustang and an 1819 Bone stock. that is like not raced out like mine. <laughs> this is smooth. <laughs> well, I've had many supercharged cars in the past, I've had uh, many turbocharged cars in the past, right? Um, the turbocharger, uh, I had the Hellion kit uh-huh and it blew up in 42 days shot two rods out the bottom of the block oh my god yeah. this is so smooth compared to mine this is a real treat you know one that's pretty much stock unfortunately uh, at higher speeds you yeah won't, you won't hear anything so we got to keep it noise. you got to keep it at lower, lower, lower speed got to find a hill 45 going up a hill okay you'll notice it right away well i know it's kind of maybe you won't hear a thing it drives me nuts so. i i am um like a stickler for like NVH and like weird noises and right. stuff like that. I hate it. You know, I've kind of had to get used to some of that stuff with mine. Mm. 
but if it's if it exists i should definitely be able to pick up on it it's got like a click sound mine did the same thing okay and i had the ricaros and mm. ford fought with me forever about it they're like no no we can't hear it you know it's it's definitely in your head and uh, sure enough it was the seat track yeah that's what they've got so, the yep. rail. you know every single time you take it up there to like hey listen for this and i can't hear it oh of course so i don't know where a hill is but we got to find one so it's it's like when it's struggle under yeah well, under load going up a hill okay <laughs> <laughs> this is so great. The uh, the uh, the ten speed is so smooth compared to mine. Yeah. It feels like a Cadillac in here. This is great. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, I heard some kind of like a knock. Okay. Yep. By at lower RPM. Uh huh. It'll just do that repeatedly. It's like. Interesting. Weird. You heard it. I did. Yeah. I saw you. Yeah. Weird. It's it's so faint. Honestly, though, I mean, I don't know what that is. That's that's crazy. I, I don't think that I would let that scare me, though. But you've heard it louder than that. Yeah. If you're, let's say, you want to get engaged in uh, some illegal street racing sure. activity, sure. Going to Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you give it a little bit too much right foot, it'll it'll hit pretty hard. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's something there. Doubt. A hundred percent doubt that the camera caught it. Uh, but sure it yeah, to the to the human ear. 100 percent and you know i think like i told you you have to be in the driver's seat because mm -hmm. it's connected to your right foot it's, the more you give it a little bit you're like okay i heard it and you can lift and it goes away you give it some more and you'll hear it yeah you can feel it wow